Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to script any game pass you want and how to make any game pass work. Uh, now, quick disclaimer, this will require you to know the basics of scripting. So if you know the basics, you should be good to go. And yeah, this is what we're going to be making. We're going to be making a system, uh, an easy system for making game passes that works with uh, any game pass you want. Also, if you guys want to support me and want to have access to all of my project files without having to follow the tutorial, they will all be available on my Patreon in the $10 tier. The link will be in the description. Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is to publish your game. So what I'm going to do is press Alt P or you can go ahead and press File, uh, Publish to Roblox and just call your uh, place whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Game Pass Video and uh i'll just press create and wait for the place to publish it will take a couple of seconds okay so it's published now uh, i'll just disable this okay so after doing that what we need to do is create the game pass itself so go to google and go to create hit the create tab wait for this to load and then you can just go to um I think you just gotta choose your place so for me it's going to be a uh, game pass video and i'm just going to click on it manage experience and then i'll go to associated items and i think you just have to go to passes and create pass so i won't change the icon of the game pass and i'm just going to call this something like um maybe test pass test pass and I'll just uh, put a, a random description like uh, this is a test pass or something random and I'm just going to hit create pass okay so what's this going to do is it's going to create the game pass then you can go here and uh, click on it again and you can uh, choose a price for the game pass I'm just going to set it to one row book and save changes and now I'll go to basic settings and i'll just copy the id i think i think you can find the id somewhere in here you just need to go back here and just click these three dots and copy asset id now here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go back to studio and we will just add a server script to server script service and uh, i'll just call this uh game pass and in here we need to get the game pass id so i'm just going to Put in the game pass id and i'm just going to paste in the number that we copied now before we do all this uh, we need to get marketplace service so marketplace service equals game phone get service marketplace service now what we need to do is get the player service equals game phone get service players now in here we need a couple of functions actually we only need one a local function uh, player added player added and that's going to take the player and what I'm going to do is has pass so local has pass equals false and what I'm going to do here is local success comma error error msg equals p call function and what we're going to do here is has pass equals uh, marketplace service con uh, user owns game pass async and in here, just put in player dot user ID, comma pass ID, or just game pass ID. Now, what we're gonna do here is if not success, if not success, then uh, we're just going to warn uh, error. I'm just going to print warn the error message. So error MSG uh and we're just going to return just stop this now if has passed then so if has passed equals equals true then we can give the player something so what i'm going to do here is create a function called uh, give perk and that function will just take the player now what we can do is get the player's character, so local character equals player dot character or player dot character added 
add it on weight and what we can do then is if character is not equal to nil then what we're gonna do is uh, this is by the way a just a uh, uh, temporary perk local uh, we're gonna get the humanoid humanoid equals uh, equals character con weight for child con, uh, con weight for child con find first child I guess find first child child humanoid now we're gonna check if humanoid is not equal to nil then uh, humanoid dot walk speed equals 50 okay now what I'll do here is we're gonna call the give perk function player and then I'll play the game uh, actually no players dot player added so whenever a new player is added we're gonna call the player added function Now if I play the game, I should be very fast, and that's because I own the game pass. Now, the way this works, okay, so, uh, whenever you want to make a game pass, so let's say I want to make a uh, two times money game pass, or, so, uh, yeah, let's say I want to make a two times money game pass, or for now, let's just say a game pass that gives you more jump height. So, what I can do is, uh, in here, in this gift perk function, I can basically put anything that I want. So, uh, this is going to check if the player has the game pass. And in here, we can just give the player anything that we want. So, let's say I want to make the player jump higher. Well, for that, I can just go and do humanoid. So, jump height equals. And I can just put in something like uh, 45. And if I play the game now, I should be able to jump very high because I own the game pass. And as you can see, I am able to jump very high. Now, uh, for example, let's say you want to make a two times money game pass. Well, then uh, you can basically, maybe you can have a value inside of the player and it's called uh, uh, multiplier. And by default, it's going to be one. But in the perk, you will change the value of that to two. And when you want to give the player money, let's say player.leaderstats.coins.value uh, plus equals one, or player.leaderstats.coins.value equals player.leaderstats.coins.value plus one, what you can do is multiply one or uh, two or whatever your number is by uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, multiplier value that we had. The value that we put inside the player that we change to two uh, when the player has the perk, because when it's one, it's just going to give him the amount of the, the amount that you put in because it's just going to be multiplied by one. But if he has the game pass, then the perk would be player dot, dot values, for example dot, uh, and then you can just put in multiplier dot value equals two. So by default, it's going to be one, and. Uh, it's going to be two if you own the game pass. I hope that makes sense. It, I think it did, but I don't know. Okay, so uh, that's basically how it works. Now, what if you want to prompt the purchase to this game pass? Well, in that case, I'm just going to create a uh, button in here, screen GUI. I'm going to call this main GUI, and I'm going to add a text button. And I'll just do this. Okay, I'll just put it here. And I'll just change the text to uh, Game Pass. Text scaled true. Font for Doka one. Okay. Now, what I'll do is I'll just add a script. A, I mean, a local script to this. And we're going to prompt the purchase. So, the way this is going to work is we're going to get the Game Pass. Actually, no. We're going to go back here to this script and we're just going to copy this. Put it there. Now what we're gonna do is get the player, mm, player equals players dot local player. So we're gonna have a function in here, local function, uh, prompt purchase, prompt purchase, purchase. And what I'm gonna do here is this is just going to we have the player already, so we're just gonna have a has pass again, has pass equals false. And what we're gonna do is local success, comma error, msg, same thing, msg equals p equal function. And what we're gonna do is has pass equals uh, marketplace service, 
icon user owns game pass say sync and player dot user id comma pass id game pass id okay now what we need to do is if not success then error ms then uh, just uh, uh, warn error msg so we're just going to warn the error message and then we're just going to return okay so then if has passed then we're just going to print uh you already own this game pass okay else then we can just prompt the purchase to that game pass so marketplace service go and prompt uh game pass purchase and i'm just going to put in player comma and pass id now because i already own the game pass uh i should be prompted this but before i do that i need to just put in screw.parent.mouse button one click on connect function and uh, i'm just going to prompt the purchase prompt purchase okay so i'll play the game now it should print you already own this game pass so game pass you already own this game pass so it keeps on printing that but what i'll do now is i'll delete the game pass from my inventory so i'll just go here um okay i'll just pause the video okay so i deleted the game pass from my inventory and what what i'll do is i'll play the game and by the way if you buy it from the game okay third party sales are disabled uh what i forgot to do is just enable something in here just go to home game settings and we're just going to go to security and we're just going to enable uh, allow third par party sales and that's all we need now i can actually go ahead and try this by the way if you buy your uh, game pass from studio it's not going to charge you on your account so don't worry if you buy something for more than one robux okay so i'm going to buy this and it should as you can see, I was able to buy it, but it didn't give me my uh, perk. So, the way you're going to fix that is go back to your Game Pass uh, server script. And we're going to have another function. So, local function uh, on prompt uh, purchase, purchase, finished. Okay, so this is going to take the player, the purchased, purchased Game Pass id and it will also take the uh a purchase success variable okay so in here we're going to check if purchase success and purchase pass id purchase pass game pass id purchase game pass id equals uh, equals equals uh, game pass id so the actual game pass id that we have they're going to print so we're just going to print uh maybe we can just put in player.name uh, dot dot bought a game pass bought this game pass okay so uh, now what we can do in here is just call the give perk function and that's of course going to just take the player now in here what I'm gonna do is uh, marketplace service dot prompt uh, purchase finished dot prompt game pass purchase finished prompt game pass purchase finished don't put in prompt purchase finished uh, call and connect on prompt purchase finished that's all you need to do so now if i actually just go ahead and buy the game pass from studio i should actually be able to uh get the perk now it should print that i bought it okay now i should be able to jump higher and as you can see it works so maybe i want to make it so that your jump higher maybe i want it to give you two perks so uh, i want it to make me jump higher and give me a walk speed or walk speed equals uh, 50. now if you have basic programming skills so basically if you just learn the basics like loops variables and stuff you will be able to make any game pass you want uh, with just this system right here so if i just go here and just uh, buy the game pass now it should Make me run faster and jump higher. Okay, th so that's going to be it for, for today's tutorial. If this helped, uh, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.